Mexican troops on patrol in the tourist port of Veracruz. They're the response from the federal government to the growing violence between rival gangs. There have been more than 80 killings here in recent weeks. In one macabre discovery, 35 bodies were dumped on this busy underpass in broad daylight. Here, it's both the army and the police sent to this residential area after an explosion. Locals say the latest bloodshed caps a steady rise in violence in the state. Pues aquí ya como de hace un año y medio para acá más o menos dos años que empezaba. Ahorita ya se hizo más fuerte. Mexico President Felipe Calderón declared war on the country's drug cartels when he took office in 2006. More than 40,000 people have been killed in drug-related violence since then. Bringing soldiers into troubled areas is part of his strategy. And the army has long been a presence in other states more ravaged by drug-related violence, such as Chihuahua and Tamaulipas. But the military itself is not always reliable, accused of human rights abuses and corruption. Despite that, some see them as a necessary risk, and they're getting a cautious welcome from the worried locals in Veracruz. I think it's a risk, but it's a risk that the situation that we're facing in Veracruz is a risk that we're facing. Why do we have to take it? Because we don't have state police and municipal police. I think the majority of them are aware of it, although I repeat it, sometimes they are terrified. The government has placed no time limit on how long troops will be here in Veracruz. That will depend on how effective they are in bringing down the violence.